Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I just want to say thanks for clicking on my video and I hope you will stay to the end. To my returning subscribers, a big thank you and I hope you will stay to the end also. I just want to start by giving a little context to what you are seeing. My name is Lisa, but my channel name is LC Sanders. You can find me on Facebook with the same name. I like to play Sims 4, so I created an avatar of myself. This is not my real voice. I am using an AI-generated voice on Clipchamp called Ava. This video will cover page 4 of the Yellow Jacket newspaper from my graduating class at Sheridan High School. I graduated in 1987, and I graduated from college at UAM in 1999. I majored in English with a minor in Computer Information Systems. Looking back, I wish I had majored in computers and minored in English, but oh well, it is what it is. So, let's start. On page 4 is the senior last will and testament, and senior predictions. After reading all of the testaments and predictions, I decided to use AI to create some pictures. Imagery of things that were said can be quite funny. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. I am not a professional video editor by any means, but I do enjoy the process. So, with all that being said, let's get the disclaimer out of the way. As I have stated before, I do not know how long to leave this on the screen. But I guess as long as you know I am claiming the fair use of a copyrighted work for the purpose of commentary, criticism, and teaching, then we are good to go. As I already mentioned, page 4 has the senior last will and testament statements and the senior predictions. I will not be reading all of them, but only the ones I created AI-generated pictures for. There is a new website called Bing AI Picture Generator, and it is really user-friendly. So, I did not create any AI-generated pictures for these students until I get to the guy nominated, Life of the Party. You will see the senior photos from our yearbook for everyone else. First, we have Sandra Moltz, the most school-spirited and Brett Botright, a football player, Clay Bob Hooten, who was nominated as most talented, according to the newspaper. Heather Cornelius, who twirled all the batons. Whoops. Who is that? Why it is me. I always got my picture posted before Laura Johnston. Then we have Kim Wesser, Barry Blake, best dressed according to the newspaper, and Bill, wild man, Murphy. When I think of Wild Man Murphy, I think of that movie called Animal House for some odd reason. I don't know why. Lee Shannon, who I want to keep calling Shannon Lee instead. And guess who? Jimmy Choate, who said he was of questionable mind and fine body. Hmm. I don't know, questionable mind? That quiz said we were 64% compatible, so what does that say about me? Rhonda Pfizer, nominated the most athletic. And then, of course... Jenny left. The third verse goes like this. I've got it. I got your number on the wall. I got it. I got it. For a good time, for a good time call. Hey, Jenny, don't change your number. I need to make you mine. Jenny, I've called your number. 8675309. Next, we have Mary Norton, Jen Niece Harrington, Janet Shadwick, Julie McElrath, who willed her airhead-minded ability to be the life of the party to Scarlet, Buffy Thomas, and Kim Hale. So let's keep going. Gordon Brodsky, who had divine musical ability. Amy Michelle Vinson, who had the ability to skip school. Jeff Lisenby, our class president. Kelly Van Landingham, who was able to drive on wet pavement. Pam Stanton, who could get ready in 15 minutes flat. James Ed Squires, who could drive Mr. West insane. Melissa Yulett, who left Mr. Easton an ability to buy a black and white TV set so he could watch ALF. This is the same Mr. Easton who flunked me in psychology. Greg Tisdale, who did not loan Mr. Wildman Bill Murphy money to people he meets in the future. Hmm. I wonder what that was all about. Okay, so now let's finish off this list. Jeff Butler, who willed his ability to pass English to Matthew Oakes. Mitch Watson, our most school-spirited student. Steve Shaw and Seth Lowry and Alan Crawford and Clint Roden and Kevin Boyd and Tracy Ernesty and finally David Bell. As I said earlier, I want to talk about the senior predictions. I created some AI photos to go with some of them, so I hope you enjoy. The first prediction says Jeff Lisenby will lead a rebellion against our government and set up the Lisenby regime. Well, 
AI would not let me create any kind of anti-government picture. Hmm. I wonder why. Second, Chase Coleman will open Colonel Chase's Arkansas Fried Chicken. Yum, yum. We all love fried chicken. Jeff Hennard will open a clinic for colorblind quarterbacks. Was Jeff colorblind? I do not know. Mitch Watson and the Belching Frogs will be the headliner at Toad Suck Days in Conway, Arkansas. Clay Hooten will someday place in the Timberfest One Mile Fun Run. Barry Blake will publish a book of 1001 Sarcastic Lines. Oh joy, just what we needed, another book to remind us why sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Or is it the highest? I can never remember. Next is Donna Bolton. She will open a Paula Bunyan shop for big and tall women. I knew she was tall, but I didn't think of her as big. Does anybody remember? Now, we have Leon Smoot, who will sing the national anthem at the 2001 World Series game. Vicky Whiting will star in Top Gun 2. Rhonda Pfizer will play for the 1992 Olympic volleyball team. Alan Crawford will become the new lead singer for Run DMC. Todd Smurl will become a sportscaster. And Stacy Lizenby will become a tomato farmer in Monticello. I don't think he lives in Monticello. I attended college in Monticello and my husband's family is from there. Monticello is known for tomatoes, but Warren is better known for the Bradley County Tomato Festival. The type of tomato is called a Bradley tomato and they are the best for sandwiches. Roy Swatty will write science fiction books. Chris Reinhardt will publish a series of books on how to successfully hang someone? Hmm. Why? And, again, Jenny Luft. She will become the editor of a magazine devoted to articles about tall people and speed talking. Tall people? Jenny was not tall. She needs to get together with Donna to distribute her magazine. Hehe. <laughs> And, whoa, Clint Roden will land his airplane on the fast lane of Interstate 30. Boy, oh boy. Jimmy Don Hastings will market tippy turtle novelties. Shannon Lee, I mean Lee Shannon, will become a solid gold dancer. Johnny Robinette will be the trainer for the New England Patriots football team. Jerry Luter will play for the St. Louis Cardinals. And last but not least, Chris Brown will manage a hotel that will have Barry Blake's 1001 Sarcastic Lines book in each room instead of a Bible. So, that is all I am going to cover from this page. There are some other articles on this page you may want to read. If so, just hit the pause button. Otherwise, I want to thank you for sticking it out to the end of this video. I really appreciate your attention. I know that I covered a lot in this video, but I just want to say, if you like this, could you press that thumbs up button? And consider subscribing to my channel? I want to make more content like this, where not only do I use Sims 4, but also include AI-generated images and an AI voice to bring to you things that I personally like, and I hope that you like too. Sol Sol.